Welcome to another Detector Tester's Toolbox Talk tip. This time I'm going to cover the various different test solutions that we actually have available and the key features and differences between the products. We have a wide range of products now. It's really important to make sure you understand the differences so that you choose the right product for your requirements. If you want to find out more, stick with me. To test fire detectors, what are the options? Do you use test solutions based around aerosol canisters or perhaps capsules? Maybe you're looking for a all-in-one tester or perhaps separate test heads for the different sensors. Do you have a requirement to prove compliance and exactly what has actually been tested? Let's have a look at these products in more detail. Aerosol smoke canisters have been used since the 1990s to test smoke detectors and still to this day they prove to be the most popular solution. Also handheld aerosols for testing detectors within arm's reach such as smoke saver. Although our aerosols are simple and very popular, they do require skill and training to use them safely and effectively. To find out more, check out our CPD training webinars on our website. We developed the first smoke capsule back in 2007. Capsule technology overcomes the limitations and restrictions of the aerosol canister by controlling the amount of smoke and CO that is actually released. This gives the following advantages. Consistent, correct application every time, which means cleaner testing, prolonged detector life, eliminates real alarms due to lingering smoke after a test, cleaner and better for the environment. Capsules are not pressurised, so they're not classified as dangerous goods, which means they're safe and, and easy to use and handle and ship. Also, unlike aerosols, performance is unaffected by changes in temperature and they can test a wider range of detectors. Separate solo testers are available to test smoke detectors either using an aerosol canister in a Solo 330 or with a capsule in a Solo 365. Quick demo of how to insert a Solo aerosol into a Solo 330 dispenser. The aerosol goes into the red retaining cup. The red retaining cup then screws into the base of the Solo 330. You screw it in, the aerosol raises up inside, the nozzle comes in contact with a gimbal inside. As soon as you hear a hiss, back it off, you've gone too far. That's then set correctly. Now when the Solo 330 is actually raised up to the detector, the top rim of the test cup comes into touch with the ceiling around the base of the detector, and that is what actually releases the smoke. It's down to the skill of the operator and their experience of how much they actually use. Let's have a look at inserting a capsule into a Solo 365. In the back, there's a the smoke generator, the capsule, slides into the smoke generator, simple as that, shut the back, turn it round and you turn it on. Uses a proximity sensor just to one side, when the detector enters the cup it releases the smoke, 365 controls the release of the smoke. Once the detector activates you remove it. There's also separate solo heat testers either corded that connect to a mains connection or cordless that uses battery power. We also have all-in-one testers, that is just one tool that you carry around. Like our Testify 2000, the Testify 2000 has the ability to produce smoke, heat and carbon monoxide. It uses capsules, so it covers, has all the advantages that we covered previously. Plus it's an all-in-one tester, so the engineer just has to carry one test with them, which means they always have the right tool to hand. And this will also test multi-sensors as well as single sensor detectors. Building owners are becoming increasingly demanding, insisting that they have proof of exactly what service has been carried out on your site, what detector was tested, when it was tested, and what the result was. 
This is the benefit of the XTR2 compliance tester. It also shares all the benefits I've previously covered with the capsule-based solutions, as well as the all-in-one tester. With the XTR2, it captures the test result from the detector under test, transfers it through a phone app, which can then be sent on to the client, giving transparency that makes the client happy. I hope that uh, video has helped to show the differences between the Solo and Testify detector testing technology. If you want to know more about the various products I've actually got covered, have a look on our website. Alternatively, if you need further training on the various different products, check out our CBD training that's available there too. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, if you have been watching, thanks for watching. Thank you.